Listen to this sound by Victor Morello that I get by playing a C note on my keyboard. Okay, so it, it sounds like a percussive sound sequence, but the sequencer is, as you can see here, is off, so it's not used. So that means that probably what Victor was doing was using some of those functions and maybe some random things or maybe LFOs to create the sound. Fine, but then I realized that those percussive sounds, which really sounded like percussions, <laughs> basically, they were created by white noise. That's interesting, you know, because white noise is just a bunch of all the frequencies that you can create between a few hertz and maybe 20 or 30 kilohertz. It sounds like this. So how can you generate a sequence of percussions just using white noise? Well, first you will use the resonator. In pigments, the resonator is a set of six passband filters, which allows to select particular bands, and very narrow bands, so basically particular frequencies from the signal you're filtering. And here, the signal is white noise, which means you can select any frequency you want. It's, it'll be there. So how do we use that resonator? Well, the first resonant filter will be used to select a band of frequencies and a very narrow band, so it's almost one frequency corresponding to a note that I'm playing. And then the five other filters, which are in the resonator, will just uh, select your harmonics depending on the frequency of the main filter, which is used for the note frequency, for the fundamental frequency. And that way you can recreate a sound with a particular timbre. Now, as I said before, usually the harmonics, that, so the five other frequencies should be multiple of the note frequency, but there are also so-called inharmonics. And these are frequencies which are not multiple of the note frequencies. And that's something very handy if you want to create metallic or bell sounds. So by just increasing the amount of amplitude at the resonance frequency of each filter, and that will give us an idea of what, what we can create here. interesting you can still hear the noise from the white noise you know the original white noise signal but uh, since you're selecting also a given frequency with the main filter which correspond to the note you are playing and then some harmonics it creates this interesting pretty rich sound here and now I can make the frequencies of the partials vary so that they are not multiple of the original uh, note frequency that we hear and, and there we, we get very interesting effects. Etc. Now, as you know, the beauty of pigments is that you can modulate everything with almost everything. So uh, that's what, what's happening in this particular sound here. And what we're going to do first is to make this in harmonic uh, button here vary. Uh, and we're going to use function 2 for that, which is right here. And let's have a listen to what happens now, playing the same note as before. It's a C. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, the, the, the main note doesn't change, but the harmonics of the note are changing uh, at a given pace, which is uh, given by this function here. And at the same time, if, if we use a granular functionality and we make the density of the grains vary at the same rate, then all of a sudden we get something interesting. As you know, the granular synthesis is just taking a, a given recording like that, a sample, and then taking some chunks of, of, so, of the sound and playing them at a given rate and a, and a given, at a given period. And that's what we do here, and we synchronize it uh, to quarter notes. And here is what happens. <laughs> Ah, 
Aha, uh -huh. you can guess where we're going now. And the, the problem is that for percussion, these are, you know, these have a too long decay. So what Victor did is that he was using the amplitude modulation here and use the same function here to create this very short decay so that it now really sounds like a percussion. Listen. Isn't that fantastic? I mean, it's, you know, all that from, from white noise. And that's it's very interesting. And then, of course, he cheated a bit. He added some effects and also added a sample here that you can hear. But, I, you know, so far I've not used that sample, that second engine here. And then f the final result is this.